Hello guys, so in this video I'll be talking about if it's actually worth it to become a software developer in 2025. But before getting to that, I just want to mention that I have a Discord server and you can join the Discord server, you can share your ideas and share your progress as you're learning software development. Also, if you're new to this channel, my name is Katlao, I'm a software software developer and on this channel I share some tips and my experience of how I became a software software developer in order to make it easy for you guys to get into the field and also motivate you guys and get you guys inspired. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys. Alright, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is basically AI because I know a lot of people are scared of AI because they know they want to get into tech or basically get into programming but they are scared about the job security because of AI basically, right? So I would just like to mention that yes, of course, AI is really good. Like at this time at this moment there's something called deviant something like that i'll just put it at the top here and you can go have a look so basically that is basically a software that's acting as a software developer right so as you can see there's an option to actually avoid hiring a software developer and also we have chat gbt we also have dipsic so i've used these tools a lot as i'm working right so they actually help me to solve has my faster because they have a faster way of responding or giving me results unlike google where i actually have to type the error that i have or whatever problem that i'm facing then i have to go through a lot of articles to find the specific solution to my problem right so with this ai tools i just basically type whatever problem i have then it will actually break down that whole problem and actually give me a solution to that problem right so as you can see this is a faster way to solve that specific problem, right? So yeah, us as developers, basically we use these tools to actually solve tasks or problems much faster, right? But you can't really like start a whole business just using ChatGPT or DeepSeek. I mean, you can, but you still need someone who's good in programming because you still need to go through the code and make sure that that whole code is actually doing what it needs to do because a lot of times the code that it generates has some few errors or doesn't really consider some of the situations so you need to actually go through the whole code and make sure that it solves that specific problem that you mentioned in the prompt right so you still need someone who's good in programming to actually make sure that things are done correctly right and companies actually know this they know that they can't rely solely on this chat bots basically so they need to make sure that they have someone in the company who's good in programming to make sure that things are done correctly so that's why they hire software developers they still need those people to actually make sure that things are done the right way and as i've seen even in 2025 like a lot of companies are still hiring software developers they're still hiring front-end developers or back-end developers or whatever role in the field of programming they're still hiring those people because they know they need those people and another thing that i want to mention is that because of this ai tools and because software development field is saturated you need to learn more skills that you needed to know way back like the field of software development is saturated that a lot of people are actually in the field or who want to actually get into the field so there's a lot of options for companies to choose people right so you need to make sure that you stand out so you need to learn more skills than the rest of the other people who are actually in the field of software development right so you won't just basically learn html css javascript or whatever framework that you need then get a job you still need to learn some more skills to actually impress companies and show them that you actually have the skills that they need or the skills that they're using so that they can actually hire you right so yeah to conclude yes it's definitely still worth it to become a software developer in 2025 and in the next five years because the tools that they've developed so far that are related to ai are not basically much reliable to actually start a company or keep your company going right so they still need people who are good in software development to make sure that things are done correctly so yes it's definitely worth it to become a software developer in 2025 so that's it for this video guys if you haven't done this yet make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys all right thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye